Home Secretary, why are you making a speech here and not in the UK? The Home Secretary has travelled a long way to reflect on an immigration mess that she is in charge of, but then she believes Britain is bound by a failing global asylum system. A neat deflection or provoking debate, probably both, and with language that's unprecedented for a Home Secretary. We will not be able to sustain an asylum system if, in effect, simply being gay or a woman or fearful of discrimination in your country of origin is sufficient to qualify for protection. Her audience in the room, at least, was just a few dozen, including her own staff. Seeking refuge in the first safe country you reach or shopping around for your preferred destination are not the same thing. I just wanted to pick up on the anecdote you just gave, uh, a very eloquent anecdote about your father, um, that he had no friends, no money, no passport, he wanted a better life. Do you accept that that is the story replicated throughout this migration journey? Every single one of those people has the same story that your father had. And I wonder how you could square that with your views that you have outlined this morning. What you're suggesting is because I'm the child of immigrants, I have to adopt a position which is pro-migration and pro uh, the status quo. And I totally and fundamentally refute that. I think that is uh, totally at odds with the challenge that we are facing today. Unprecedented levels of people coming to our country illegally with no right to be there, gaming our system. She didn't deny that this was about her too, her vision for a different Britain with different rules. Of course, none of this amounts to a policy announcement. It is rhetorical and it is designed to provoke. She wants to start an argument, a global debate about a global challenge. Her language, though, will certainly fire up her base on the right of a party she'd like to lead. New York is maybe the unlikely focus of the American end of this unprecedented movement. The once grand, now shuttered Roosevelt Hotel is the city's reception centre, overwhelmed. In just a year, 100,000 people have arrived in Manhattan, most bussed from the southern border by politicians who want them to be someone else's problem, testing a city's liberal resolve. We're finding a way to get a future a good economy to try to help us and our families back in Venezuela to be able to live. I hope that there is a future, not so much for us, but for them. That's what I really want. They are the stories of Suella Braverman's father. He came at a time when the system could cope, encouraged migration. Now it's a system of asylum that fails both political extremes and those at its heart. It is neither fair nor firm. Mark Stone, Sky News in the United States.